What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? Good Malo here coming at you with another exciting video. So I wanted to get a cooling rack, right? Cooling rack, roasting rack that would fit inside of my Viking roasting pan. This particular pan is 16 inches across by 13 inches this way, however you want to configure that. But here's how it sits inside the pan when you jam it up against the corner. You have a good like three inches or so this way and then you have maybe about like an inch or so this way. But when you center it, it actually comes out pretty decent. You know, I would trust this rack to cook a spatchcocked chicken or turkey for the holidays. You know, I, I feel confident that this thing will help to support a 12 to 15 pound bird, you know, whatever that is, or let's say like a prime rib roast or whatever. It does feel solid. I finally found one that feels good, that weighs good. The one that I reviewed last week was horrendous. The, uh, what was it? The two something or other it was just a cheap Chinese, whatever. This is like probably two levels above that but maybe one level shy of say like a Volrath. A Volrath cooling rack is gonna be like the industry standard, the restaurant, you know, whatever you see on these big cooking shows and all that, but it's also three times the price. So remember this channel is all about best bang for the buck, which is highest quality, lowest price that we can find value, right? What are you spending your money on and what are you getting in return? And I feel like I finally found a cooling rack that kind of works. So anyways, here's what the pan looks like with the rack in it. I know on camera this looks like a huge distance, but the edges are curved and you've got about like maybe, I'd say maybe like an inch on this side and an inch on this side of space. And then maybe a little bit more, maybe like an inch and a half and an inch and a half. And then you've got, I would say like an inch, three quarters of an inch over here and maybe three quarters of an inch on this side or actually a little less, maybe like a half and a half. So like a half inch here and a half inch here, right? Because I would make your 16. And then you've got an inch and a half here and an inch and a half here of space to the wall. That would give you the pan is 13, the rack is 10, right? So does that make sense? I hope it does. Anyways, let's take a closer look at the cooling rack. So, oh, and it does sit, it does sit about, I would say about an inch up off the bottom. Like just shy of maybe an inch up off the bottom. Let's look at the, some actual measurements because I bought two. I bought the two for one package, which you do get a better deal. And let's look at that. So you're just at or just shy. I put this right to the edge. You're just shy of 15 inches. It's like 14 and three quarter inches in the longest part, I guess, which would be this way. And then this way. So if I can do this. So then this way you're right at or just shy of about 10 inches. On this side right just shy of 10 inches the label that it comes with is right here right that's inside the plastic so here's your label 10 by 15 cooling baking rack last confection professional grade 100 percent stainless steel oven dishwasher safe i still wouldn't put it in, an, in a dishwasher i don't know a lot of people like to do that because of all the bits that you have to kind of go through i just use a nice bristle like a nice bristle scrub brush to clean this whenever I do like cook with these types of cooling racks, let them soak in, like let them sit in the pan, let them soak in some water with a splash of apple cider vinegar and that will clean off usually whatever's on there and a little bit of dish soap, like that combination. So apple cider vinegar, a little bit of dish soap like Dawn works wonders. Let it sit in the pan for maybe like an hour or two, warm water, you should be good to go. But don't ever put it directly from the pan into water because otherwise, or from the oven directly into water, because otherwise you'll just bend and warp the metal and be a disaster. Anyways, let's get back to this thing. So overall, that's what it looks like. The individual squares, if you're kind of curious about that. So the individual squares are about a half an inch apart, right? Like give or take, maybe even just a little shy of half an inch apart. So if you line this up, so you're trying to get these perfect. So let's look at let's look at the number seven right there. So look at number seven. It's just right. It's just shy of about a half an inch between the squares. So that's your spacing or whatever. And then if you come over this way, 
Let's try to get a shot of this. Your height. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Your height would be just shy of one inch on the height, right? So just shy of one inch. What I kind of like is the quality of the welds and all that. See how they polished off the corners here or the edges. So there's no really sharp edges that I could find, right? So you've got some nice, nice edge work there to make sure you don't have any sharp edges. Like I'm feeling these as I go. They might look sharp on camera, but or they might look squared off on camera as opposed to being rounded, but I'm feeling these and they're, you know, as smooth as they can be for the edge or whatever. Let's go to the welds. This is another big thing I was looking for was the quality of the welds. So there's your welds, right? You do get, you do get six feet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, you get six feet, like six foot feet, right? <laughs> six feet. And they are welded on there pretty good. As you can see, there's the quality of the welds. So not too bad. So like I said, overall in general, I feel comfortable putting a 12 to 15 pound chicken or turkey or prime rib roast or whatever on this thing. A ham, you know, chicken wings. If you're going to lay out like some chicken drums or like chicken wings and you want to make like, you know, roasted chicken wings or whatever, let's weigh this thing. So let me get my scale. And like I said, there will be a link in the description section down there below, also in the comment section. So make sure to hit up those areas. So let's turn this on. This is my O's area. There's a link to this down there as well. So there's pounds and ounces. So let's uh, here, let's level this off and get this nice and straight. Okay, so here's the rack on top, and I'm at I'm at 13.9, 14 ounces. There you go. So 14 ounces, I know it's kind of hard to see with the shadows and all that, but it's 14 ounces in grams. Uh, that would be 397 grams. So there you go. So 397 grams, 14 ounces. Now a Volrath by comparison is a little bit wider and a little bit longer, but a Volrath weighs over a pound. It's like a pound and a quarter, almost like a pound and a half. And the difference between a Volrath and this would be that the Volrath, the gauge of the wires, all the wires are thicker right? You got a better quality stainless steel, better than 304, I think. I think. Don't quote me. But like I said, for bang for the buck, right? Best value, highest quality you can find at the lowest possible price, the best bang for the buck. I think this is the way to go if you're going to buy a cooling rack for the holidays, Thanksgiving dinner, turkeys, whatever. Anyways, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. And check out the description section down there below for a link to this. One of the better links that I could find. Also, hit up the comment section if you have any comments or questions. And in terms of measurements, like I said, for fitting a Viking roasting pan that is 16 by 13, we showed you that. I think this is pretty much the way to go. If you have a half tray, like if you have a half, a half sheet, you know, or whatever it is, you're going to be a little bit more, let's try to grab that real quick. Do, 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 walk through my kitchen. Do, 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 do. Here we go. So here is, this is a, what is this? This is a Nordic wear half sheet, right? Let's see how this fits on there. There's going to be, so that's to the edge or to the corner. Mm -hmm. That's going to be where you're at. And this is about three inches or so. This is about three inches or so. So if you center this, that's where you're going to be with a half sheet or a half tray, just in case you're curious. So if you've, if you've bought these before, like these cooling racks, and you notice that the cooling rack goes all the way to the edges and you don't want that or you don't like that, this might be an option for you in this specific size or configuration this 15 by 10 or 10 by 15 configuration so just so you know what the measurements are anyways like button subscribe button down there below catch you all in the next exciting video